Your gratitude is magnetic, and the more gratitude you have, the more abundance you magnetize. It is universal law. Rhonda Burn, the magic. Do you believe that the energies and emotions, when we do things, affect what it is turned into? The energy and emotion, when we instruct and learn English. Is also the same. In this podcast, I would like to talk about a magic that can heal negative emotions and energies in our classroom. That is gratitude. So, what is gratitude? How can we instruct and learn English with gratitude? Let's figure it out with me. What is gratitude? Matthew six verbs twenty one. In the Bible, it says, "For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also." Gratitude is the grateful attitude towards little things in life. We feel happy. In every step that we move on the street, we feel joy that we can feel our heartbeat and breaths, which we haven't paid attention to before. Gratitude. Makes us feel loved and valued because it activates a strong desire to live joyfully in us. When we feel inspired, congratulations! We already have a motivation to live sparkly. Like a firework that shines in the night sky. How can we instruct and learn English with gratitude? As I mentioned at first, the condition or attitude that we bring. In every every task we do, will determine how it succeeds. From now on, I challenge all of us, students, teachers, parents, to instruct and learn English. Gratitudes. First, before we learn language techniques like phonics, grammars, vocabularies, etc., we can start with writing ten things that we appreciate in a day. It could be we appreciate that the student arrived 
at the class on time. We appreciate the contribution of the parents when we need their help. We appreciate We have a chance to be with our students. Yes, teachers cannot be a teacher if we don't have students. Do you think that? And then we will realize that this magic not only have us to understand ourselves more but also give us another positive view about others do you still remember the adult student who was late and asked me to reschedule the English lesson? What would happen if I got angry and kept focusing on her mistake? Sure, I would lose herself and even myself Another way to activate gratitude in our class and in our life is to acknowledge that gratitude gives us the courage to protect ourselves and others from fairnesses. Fairness is the biggest enemy that obstruct our actions. It is like a chain tidying up our subconscious mind and conscious mind. We all here are the result of our subconscious and conscious mind. So why don't we try to instruct and learn English with gratitude from now on? Your gratitude is magnetic and the more gratitude you have, the more abundance you magnetize. It is Universal Law Ronald Burr The Magic